Hi, and welcome back to the fourth episode of Short About Gamification. My name is Anders Tuveson, and today we are going to talk about player types. You might have heard about Bartle's four player types. You have the killer, a focus on winning, rank, and direct peer-to-peer -peer competition. Then there is the achiever, who is focused on attending status or achieving preset goals quickly and completely. Then you have the socialites, who have focus on socializing and drive to develop a network of friends and contacts. And then there is the explorers, who focus on exploring and drive to discover the unknown. So how do you use the play type when you're designing a gamification solution? Well, you must design the solution for all the player types, because if you don't, you will lose some people participating in the solution. And another thing is that you are not one player type all the time. It varies. In some gamified solution, you could be the killer, or another day a socialite, or the third day an achiever. So it varies over time. So you are all player types, but not at the same time. But during the years, I have realized that the Achiever actually is two player types, because there is a big difference between the player type who actually want a digital reward, like a pins or badge, or achieve some goals in the game. Uh, and there is the other Achiever who actually, actually wants something real, like bonus or money or things or a discount or something that comes out from the real world. And therefore we have split the achiever into a real achiever and a digital achiever. And you also have to think about the non-gamer. Because if you gamify a digital product like an intranet or uh, an ERP solution or something, then you have to have a way of people not participating because you can't force anyone into a gamification area so you have to think about the non-player how do we do this for the non-players but the most important thing about player types is that you must design for collaboration we like to do things together and we like to do them as the player types i mean you can have a group of killers competing against another group of killers, or achiever, or basically anything. But you have to do it together. I mean, my family compete against your family, or my team against your team. So when you design a good gamified solution, you have to think about all the player types, and what is fun for each and every one of them. So, with this, I end this episode of short about gamification. See you soon. Bye-bye.